Hi and welcome to Game Creation and this week and probably next week, I think it, this is going to be a two week project, we're going to be recreating Missile Command which I think was on the, well, pretty much all the Ataris uh, in the arcades and I think it even came out on the Game Boy from memory. Uh, it's a classic game um, and there's two reasons why I want to do this project next. Um, the first one is that um, about two or three weeks ago someone asked um, how to work with the mouse in Click Team, and this seems like a really good game, even though the original didn't use the mouse. Uh, I think it's a really good game to show how to use the mouse, the X and Y coordinates. The mouse isn't isn't too difficult, um, and how to change the cursor and things like that, which can lead to some problems um, sometimes. Um, but we just want the mouse to be a crosshair to fire your missiles. And then the left click will will actually fire them. So the mouse will aim, and then the left click to fire them. But the second main reason why I wanted to do this is to understand how to draw lines in Click Team. Now lines are really really difficult to do. Back when I was a youngin, probably still am, who knows? Um, I thought that what I could do is get a like square sprite, like a square active, stretch it out, and then kind of rotate it that's not the optimum way of doing lines um, and we're going to be using an object uh, down the road um, that is perfect for doing lines I think it only works on Windows um, at the moment um, but there are hopefully are alternatives for other platforms um, but it's a really really useful tool to use so yeah that should be good um, today's video what I'm going to do is talk you through what I've done already I don't like um, doing videos of me sitting there copy and pasting sprites um, but I also uh, know that a lot of you will follow along at home um, so I want to make sure you see everything I've done so this video is to catch you up on where I'm currently at with the project um, just because I've spent the last couple of hours just finding the sprites and copying and pasting them and then the the document I got them from, um, there's loads of artifacts around that I had to sit there and delete and you know and all of that stuff, which you don't want to see me do. Um, I'm not going to be able to put these um, up on any website because they are technically owned by Atari still, who I think made the game. I'm not sure. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. Um, but I will talk you through all of them. And if you type in missile command sprites, um, there's quite a lot of places you can get the stuff from. Uh, for personal projects only. So let's get started. Okay, so um, first things first, uh, let's talk through wherever my mouse is, there is. Let's talk through the dimensions. So the dimensions I've picked are really unusual. Um, essentially, uh, I wanted to make it full, um, full height, uh, although I can, ch sorry, I'll change that to a thousand. We don't need full height. I meant to change that. I don't do full height um, because um, I chop off my start menu. I've talked about that before um, because it's really distracting because I have way too many programs open. Um, the width is unusual. I've tried to keep the same dimensions of the game, but I'm not 100% sure where I have been successful. Um, but I don't think that I'm not looking to make this absolutely perfect. Um, as long as it's roughly the same, and I think there's enough space there to do everything we need to do. Um, so I've picked 1109 by 1000. I'd normally pick um, kind of 1080 down, because then that's the full height of my HD monitor. Uh, obviously, if you've got a 4K one, you want to do um, more than that, double that. Um, and yeah, and, and the width isn't going to be... So if I run it now, the width is only going to be that fraction of it because they didn't really have widescreen back in the day <laughs> so it'd be unusual but you might want to do a widescreen version of it so there's opportunities there um, the only other thing I've done so if we go into the frame is I've changed the background color to black so I, I can just use it freely so sometimes I put like a background object over here but it just gets in the way I know you can use layers but it just gets in the way it's so much easier just to go here change it to black uh, I don't think I've fiddled with anything. We will do later on, but I don't think I've fiddled with anything here. Um, the sprites are all self-explanatory mostly, so this um, is just all of the background. I've just put it in an active for whatever reason. It could just be a background object. Um, each of these cities are individual sprites because they get destroyed 
hopefully they don't but you know knowing the way I play this game they do sometimes <laughs> um, the player missile and the baddie missile or enemy missile whatever you want to call it they're just sprites nothing interesting about them hot spots mainly in the middle for most of this we've got an explosion here uh, which I have no idea is the correct explosion it's just the sprites I found so I've just I've, I've got the five sprites and then just looped it back to make it a bit more dramatic um, self-explanatory that really crosshairs for the player just the blue crosshairs and I've just again tried to put all of the ones in the middle I think I had like a little bit left over which is why that wasn't aligned um, right so with the with these ones these are probably the most complicated ones what I've done is I've done um, individual uh, frames for each of the so in the game you fire missiles and you lose a missile each time you fire one and so that's probably the most complicated thing so I've drawn this first from the individual ones and then just deleted one each time um, and so they just uh, gradually disappear there's like a horrible whiteboard around them which there wasn't in the game uh, which if I can be bothered down the line I'll get rid of um, but again like against the do I want to save change it now oh yeah um, and so like against the white uh, the yellow background it doesn't show up that badly um, and then we've got three of them and I've cloned them so that you know um, if you fire a missile from this one these don't suddenly disappear as well as the three individual ones and I've cloned these cities as well or towns whatever you want to call them um, right I think that's it um, it's all all self-explanatory at the moment um, I think the the missile or the silos are probably the mo most complicated part of this um, it's not aligned perfectly I'm not going to spend hours and hours making sure it's pixel perfect because uh, the point of this series is not to create the most authentic uh, missile command game we've ever had it's to inspire you with other projects by using previous projects and kind of how how you can do it with click team um, if you've got any kind of um, ideas of what we might do to draw those lines uh, add them to the comments uh, I already know what I'm going to do but um, there's always a chance that someone will come up with a different way which might be better so please feel free to write in the comments any suggestions you think I'm going to do to draw those lines um, and yeah I look forward to this this next this first week uh, I think it's going to be a two-week project I haven't really planned it out yet um, but um, I think also we're not going to do any of the airplanes or UFOs or whatever else comes across the, the side until we're fully done with the project I'm not that unhappy if we don't have that because those are all kind of self-explanatory also some of the missiles um, were kind of cluster missiles or cluster bombs where they'd come down and split into two um, again I'm not sure we'll get round to doing that um, but that might be quite a fun project to do if we manage to finish this one off but I think this is going to be kind of big enough to do on its own um, so yeah uh, and if you've got any comments or any suggestions of future projects please keep them coming in um, and yeah I look forward to seeing you tomorrow Thank you very much for watching this video. If you want to see more from us, please click subscribe. We release videos every single weekday at 7pm UK time. Thank you.